Tell me about yesterday's college football news. What was interesting about it? Measurement system. Um, so not a measurement system. I don't know why you keep calling it that. It's I was really, confused, too. Yeah, it's really not related at all. Okay, thank um, you. The, what you mean by measurement system, that's like how they decide teams. Still not even really related to that, too. <laughs> They've basically just reformatted the like entire playoff model. So now they have, obviously, they're expanding to 12 teams. Originally, they were going to have like a 6-6 six and six model. And with the Pac-12 dying, they're not able to do that anymore. So they've decided that the model for next year is a 5-7 which means the five highest-ranked conference champions automatically make it into the playoff, and then the seventh highest-ranked teams after that will also make the playoff. Makes perfect sense. Why would that not be the way that you measure a champion? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't okay. understand why that's not a measurement system. I, I'm saying the way you determine a champion is decided now that we are going to have the playoffs we've always wanted. Closest, but closer to the word. But with, yeah, no other, with no other context, you just said to the audience, we want to talk about college football changing their measurements. System. I, I, to I, me, that's how they abstract, measure it. Yeah. It's a very abstract definition, I think, Dan. And we're, we're very literal in the shipping container. I Bless honestly you. thought you meant like BCS. They brought the BCS back. and that's We that's, just love mistakes, honestly. Yeah, yeah. And even if it's not a real mistake, we just want to pounce. Yeah. It's like you grief eat, we mistake eat. And there's a lot to eat on this show. There is. Train a, on the there's a, but this wasn't a mistake. <laughs> Semantics, Dano. <laughs> You guys were fine with how it is we determined a champion last year. Michigan. No. <laughs> no. What the are system? you talking about? The system? I know, I'm not the saying. measurements. I'm not, say, <laughs> I'm not saying that you support Michigan winning the entire thing, but the way that it was determined, you guys think is fair and equitable, even no. though there's no. cheating involved. Not at all. I, they put 13 people in a room who I don't know if they watch college football or wow. not to decide oh. who this the was, four best yeah. teams are. This like was uh, a controversial yeah. Final Four. To say the least. But Bama got in. Like, we, Didn't we all kind of think they should be in? Yeah. Jim. Yeah, I don't know, Jim. There's a lot of nah. gray Georgia's area really there. We don't have to, Jim Gray, we don't have to rehash the college football playoff debate. But Not with 2016 my, NBA Finals talk on Exactly. On thank you. I mean, my opinion is that there's really no great way to measure the champion in college football i don't think four teams is a great way it's a it's a fine way i think most of the years we got a national champion that most people agree on i think michigan was probably the best team in the country this year asterisk because you know they never had to play georgia but she's like a mean i'm not hearing an opinion and they here. cheated i see a i hear lot. fence sitting right now uh, my opinion is that like there's no great way so now we're going to try 12 see if that's great we'll probably get some pretty good games in the in the you know middle rounds of the playoffs. I don't know if every game's going to be great. That was kind of the biggest complaint about the four team playoff is that not every game was great. We had a lot of dud semifinals. So now instead of doing like six or eight, we're just jumping straight into twelve. Now one through twelve will be a much better game. Yeah, than one like four. we well, won't have any. Duds so like anymore. eight and nine will play each other, and like you know like it's seated. So the the fifth team will play the twelfth team. Uh, the sixth yeah. team will play the eleventh team. Style. Yeah, and then the top four teams get buys, and then they all play. You know who the whatever you understand how bracket yeah. works. Top, I don't have top to four teams that. buy 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 and buy. Bye yeah. bye bye bye. The, no fifth buy because the of the Pac five. The highest ranked teams outside of that for the first round get to host the first round of the playoffs at home, which I think is super, super cool. So we could have a situation where you have a college football playoff game taking place in South Bend, in Tuscaloosa. In Iowa. Maybe if we dream and we hope and we pray and we sacrifice to the gods potentially. But the 12 teams is not what we wanted, but I think given the fact that that's just what we're stuck with because that's, you know, they completely ignored six and eight, as just said. This is a pretty good system. It makes up for the fact that the Pac-12 is not really a real conference anymore. It gives chance for a group of five schools to compete. I'm happy-ish with it. Twitter seemed to be saying that Notre Dame was a benefactor of this new system. Is that true? Is this good for Notre Dame? I think that this is probably what Notre Dame wanted. In fact, I can probably say, like, yes, this is what Notre Dame wanted. I think, like... A lot of <laughs> a lot of people were saw that Notre Dame would not be eligible for the bye if they were a top four team in the playoff and thought like that would be a bad thing for Notre Dame. But I think this gives them I mean, Notre Dame's not going to be eligible to win a conference championship because they're not a conference. The trade off is okay, if you're the a top four team in the country, you'll never get a bye. But if you're five through twelve, you're you have a path to the playoff that you didn't have before and you don't play during conference championship weekend ever no matter what so yeah you have to play four games in a row in the playoffs but you're already taking that week off I think it's actually 
I could make, see an argument that this, it's worse for a conference championship losing team because you have now lost your conference championship game. You have to play that 13th game and you don't get a bye in the playoffs. So now you have played all of the games where like the stakes, I think, are a little higher for the conference championship um, because you really, really want that bye, especially if you have to, if you have to play that game and I, you don't get seated in the in the five slot because the five gets the 12 and the 12 possibly is like a G5 conference champion. So maybe, you know, if they're not great that year, that's an easy-ish game, still a playoff game, but you get home field, like Lucy said. So I kind of see an argument that way is a little bit, that might be trickier. Okay, but it doesn't feel like you took a definitive takey side. Mm -hmm. And all that matters here. I don't like 12 teams. I've said that for like years. More games with more stakes is not something that anyone's going to have a problem with who loves sports. If I'm just Vegans. giving them more stakes on these games, more, more is a great solution to everything in football. Yep. Just more. James Franklin might have a problem with it. He doesn't like the big game. It's not going to work out well for him. <laughs> I do think, though, Dan, because we, we, like, people said that when they went to a four-team playoff. Like, yeah, people complained when the game sucked. <laughs> the games had stakes, and Alabama still blew out Michigan State, and Clemson still blew out uh, Ohio State. Like, there were still blowouts, and people were like, we don't want this game with stakes because it's bad. So, yeah, people are still going to complain no matter what. Complain, 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 and then they watched all the games, and the games were great, and Michigan cheated its way to a championship, and it's not disputed somehow because of how they measure the games with stakes. Dan, I have an update from the No Bull Tour. Hungry Jack embroiled legal battle with Burger King. <laughs> Some bull. You had it first. <laughs>